Oh, will you look at that. Such a wonderful example of why those phone holders exist. They were definitely built for you to be able to get caught up on Netflix shows. And I'll tell you this right now, I'm only five episodes into Cyberpunk Edgerunners, but you know what? I'm not going to get caught up on the show while I'm doing 65. Imagine the person in the car next to you watches Sinister, gets scared at a jump scare, and then sideswipes you because of that. And I feel like if I was a cop, I would very much impound the vehicle, because I know for a fact that can't be the first time that person has done this. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into our slash I am a total POS because the world is a big old dumpster fire and we can absolutely guarantee it's not getting better anytime soon. And if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up some wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. Let me know down below what your favorite pizza place is because honestly I've started liking Papa John's more because of stuffed crust. Pizza Hut might have stuffed the crust first, but Papa John's just stuffs it better. This is this horrible human being. She openly admits to hurting her German Shepherd. She has posted many videos of her hitting the dog with boxing gloves on and hurting the dog. Meanwhile, she poses with her German Shepherd in public for clout. Reddit, we have stopped animal herders before just because her dad is an officer doesn't make this right. Spread awareness, Reddit, and shut this woman down. Anybody that hurts an animal in general, I absolutely dislike you, but if you do it because of internet points, I hate you even more. And also, I'm very disappointed in the dad not doing anything because the person who's the criminal is their daughter. Uh, yeah, no, what happened to rule of law? I thought that was supposed to be like everybody is supposed to be tried fairly and nobody gets exceptions. I'm fairly certain that went out the window a while ago though. A crime is a crime, and it doesn't make it any less of a crime just because the criminal is your daughter. Gave a homeless guy outside of a Walgreens a fake $20, cause I thought it would be funny when he went to buy stuff and they rejected it. I'm sitting in the parking lot, waiting for him to come back outside, all pissed off, when suddenly two cop cars pull in and the officers walk inside. They didn't think anything was wrong because the cops always come here for drinks and stuff, and I see them at the store a lot. I'm waiting for another 30 minutes, and the homeless guy never came out of the store, so I'm wondering what the frick. Then, eventually, I see the police officers come back out, and they have the homeless guy in cuffs. At this point, I'm like, oh, dang, I was gonna say something, but before I could, they put him in the back of the squad car and drove off. I went inside and got a bag of chips and asked the cashier what happened. Apparently, when he tried to pay, the manager saw the fake bill and called the cops, and when they arrived, he didn't want to go down to the station, so they had to use their taser. I burst out laughing at the counter, and when she asked why I was laughing, I just said, oh, never mind, and left with my baked lays. You know what the real unfortunate part is? That all of this happened because this dude was bored and he needed some source of entertainment, which apparently resulted in doing so at somebody else's expense. Now, I've seen legitimate homeless people in my area, and then I've also seen fake homeless people in the area the ones that have the electric violin set up, playing the same music the entire time, and have the little kid doing the violin try to get pity money out of people. And I gotta say, in either of those, if you are unsure whether or not they are legit, just don't don't donate. And I'll tell you this right now, if a homeless person is willing to take something other than money to help them get through the day, then I'm more very much inclined to believe that they are legitimately homeless. I've, all, the same people with the violin, I've had other stories where people walk up to those exact same people and then try to offer them something other than money and they turn it down. People offer a job, they turn it down. And that's how you know they're not homeless. But if they actually are accepting of whatever you can give to them, then very much that's something believable. But no, it really does suck that there are also people out there that will see a homeless person on the street and think that that is a source of entertainment for them. Entertainment should not come at the expense of another living being. That's kind of a contradiction in terms, but in any case, there should be consequences for those who don't conform. Like, even if you outlaw circumcision for infants, I would make it clear, my sons, I had, that unless you go for a circumcision on the first day you are eligible, that I would never speak to them or acknowledge them again. Yeah, you know, because it, if a kid doesn't want to get their pecker sliced, then, you know, the parents can disown them. Yeah, that, that totally makes sense. If anybody who has Jewish religion in their family can explain what in the world the whole reasoning for the circumcision is, um, definitely the YouTube-appropriate terms, that would be great because I never understood that myself. To the lady living at this address, I also live in this neighborhood and have a problem. You have a kid that is mentally handicapped and you 
subconsciously decided that it would be a good idea to live in a close proximity neighborhood like this? You selfishly put your child outside every day and let him be a nothing but a nuisance and a problem to everyone else with that noise polluting wailing he constantly makes. That noise he makes when he is outside is dreadful. It scared the heck out of my normal children. When you feel your idiot kid needs fresh air, take him to our park, you dope. We have a nature trail. Let him run around those places and make noise. Crying babies, music, and even barking dogs are normal sounds in a residential neighborhood. He is not. I can already tell this is going to be one of those notes where this person is trying to say that they speak for everybody when in reality they're just the one hand clapping. He is a hindrance to everyone and will always be that way. Who the heck is going to care for him? No employer will hire him. No normal girl is going to marry slash love him and you are not going to live forever. Personally, they should take whatever non- Yeah, I can't say that word. Body parts he possesses and donate it to science. What the heck else good is he to anyone? You have a- Yeah, I still can't say that word. Kid, deal with it properly. Perly, what right do you have to this to hard-working people? I hate people like you who believe just because you have a special needs kid, you are entitled to special treatment. God, wow, you must be really upset at people who get the parking lots with the wheelchairs, don't you? Do everyone in our community a huge favor and move. Vamos, scram. Move away and get out of this type of... Of neighborhood setting. Go live in a trailer in the woods or something with your wild animal child. Nobody wants you living here and they don't have the guts to tell you. See, what did I say? Speaking for everybody, we know you're only by yourself. Do the right thing and move or euthanize. Uh, Jesus. Either way, we are all better off. Sincerely, one pissed off mother. I'd say call her bluff at the HOA meeting. You know for a fact the only way that she will be able to do absolutely anything is if she speaks up about it. You decide to do something like this and you think that you can get away with just acting like nothing else happened? Yeah, no, everybody's gonna make fun of you and you aren't gonna be able to do anything except out yourself. And really, just because you don't like a kid screaming, you're thinking that the mother should put them down? Are you freaking insane? Gotta be, yeah, definitely. I can absolutely guarantee you their kids must have screamed at some point in time, but no, they're little angels. Kids scream. Kids make noise. It's just something that kids do. And if it's during daylight hours, there isn't any type of noise ordinance anything or anything of the sort, then there isn't really anything you can do about it. And also really trying to ask why did you decide to move in a close quarters kind of building? Well, I mean, as of basic times in the economy and everything, it's the only thing affordable for some people. And really, if anything, if you do have a sort of HOA, I would take this note directly to the head of the HOA and have them find out who actually did this because this is not acceptable at all. This is absolutely horrible and if you're the type of human being that thinks that this is perfectly fine to you to say to other people, People, then you do not need to be around anybody whatsoever. And really, in any case, never treat a kid like a dog. You should take your kid to the park so they can go and make noise. Really? And also really saying that nobody's ever going to like the kid, I can guarantee you, the kid is probably more liked than you and very much has been for a while now. Hello, sorry I invade your privacy. I'm from Ukraine and my husband was killed today and my son's banks are shut down. No food to eat. Please, I beg you in the name of God to assist me with anything. No amount is small. My two daughters need to eat to survive. I would appreciate any amount due to the banks being shut down. The only reason of receiving money from you is through Bitcoin. Please save a life. Almighty God will bless you. Amin. Oh yeah, no, because it totally makes sense to use a Bitcoin wallet as a means to randomly send people emails asking for money. Yeah, that, that definitely is not sketchy as can be. Well, it's also a way to go using something that is very bad that's going on right now as a reason to try to get people to give you pity money. You know, I think I actually remember hearing about this on the news. It was a story about a baby dolphin that had gotten beached and separated from the parent, and instead of anybody helping the dolphin get back into the water, they decided to use it as a selfie prop and, you know, pass it around to the point where unfortunately, uh, it died. Because even though dolphins and orcas and animals all of the sort of
underwater mammals and they can breathe air and everything, they, so they still need to be the moist boys. And if they dry out, they die out. And that's kind of unfortunate because very much this is something that could have easily been avoided, but no, people wanted to take a picture and hold the baby dolphin. If you want to get up close to a dolphin or an orca or anything of the sort, go to like a place where it's actually designated and there's professionals trained to help with the animals, not find one randomly like it's a Pokemon. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on them notifications. Maybe check out another video or two in the end card, that would be super duper nice. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye.